What's up, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another day of the 60 build. The 60s. S I C K X T Y. So, on this 60 build, if you have not been following along, there is a playlist. And in that playlist, you'll see that this is going to be a Volksrod slash Baja slash. Depends how much more money I can throw at it because I've got a bunch of ideas. So, let me spin you around. So we've got the chassis back out, ready to go. Yeah, not ready to go, this thing needs so much. It needs everything. Body, last time we worked on the body, we cut out the front firewall. Uh, we've already got the new channels in it. Uh, I've got the rear quarters done on both sides. I got a little bit of buttoning up right in here. Um, we've got A pillars to do, but I want to get the front firewall done first. So in order for that firewall, I want to make sure it six sits perfectly square the whole nine yards. So what we're going to do is since the Napoleon hat's in good shape, we're going to go ahead and set the body down. So I'm going to put the, everything in place, put a couple of bolts through it, and then go ahead and weld it up. So enough jibber jabber. That's the gist of what's going on today. Let's see what we can get done first. I need to swap out the rear tires makes it easier to get underneath my little body dolly. So I'll make that happen and I'll bring you back when we're ready to get the body down on the With the cross members out of the way, which were just extra support, we now have everything lined up, ready to go. So now I can support the rear. Probably go up like I did the last time. Just a matter of pulling these out of the way. And then, choop, rear will be on. And we'll do the same to the front, drop the front on. I know I can do this by myself, but I may go enlist some help of uh, some family members from inside. Just because, why the heck not? Moving on. There we go. We got Dolly out here. Took apart the backside. I lifted it. Levi moved it out. Boop, set it down. I lifted the front. He pulled it out. That uh, makes it pretty easy. Could be easier, but, you know, it's not horrible. It does the trick, right? So our heater channels line up pretty good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run a couple bolts to the Napoleon hat and a heater. Make sure the front's as square as I can get it. And then we'll go ahead and start measuring and getting that puppy installed. Yay. All right, I saved you some more boring stuff. We've got the front up on jack stands. I got the body as square as I could with the chassis and put the rear bolts in back here by the shock mounts. Pardon the fan, it's hot as crap. So going under the car, yes, I know it needs floor pans. What we're gonna do is Let's get the sweat out of my eye. We need to get these holes lined up with the heater channel, run the bolts through them. That way everything is sandwiched together and where it needs to be. So let's see how that goes. All right, can you see? Hopefully you can see. If not, well, we got another side to do. I'm gonna try taking a screwdriver first. Oh, it's pretty much right there. Pull it down some somehow. Or not, get the bolt in the right hole. All right, smart of a hole, I should say. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to pull that down. 
just a tad. I don't know what it's hanging up on, to be honest. Uh, it's holding up on some of the old floor pan. You know, because they used everything but what they were supposed to use. That was nice. Probably should have put the floor pan out first. That might have been easier. It's not working too well. What feels like four years later, finally got the bolts in, channels are squared, everything's ready to go. So I took a measurement from the top of the hat here to here, 
down there, up, 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 up. What I'm thinking is on this reproduction panel, because we needed both the inner and the outer, I think what we're going to do is straighten up some of it, so it's a little wonky. What we're going to go ahead and do is come up, since we slit the other one right here, we're going to come up to about here and come all the way across. That way we can get it in place. We've got plenty to lap well together, spot well together, butt well together, however we want to do it. Or if I decide to, I can run and cut all the way across once it's in place and cut all the way across and, and then butt weld it instead of lap weld it. So, yeah, nothing's ever as easy as it looks. Moving on. After a bunch of uh, finagling, lost count of how many times I had to pull it in and out, in and out, in and out. Almost there. We got a little gap right there at the very bottom. It's just about on the channels. Um, needs to go down just a tad more. And then what I'm going to do is up here at the top, run some self tappers through. Help pinch it together and we can run some welds on the inside outside tie in the sides down here at the channel on both sides it's break time we'll bring you back when I have more accomplished. tacked in and I'm dripping in sweat Let's take a peek so again got some self tappers in there it's in there um, I figured out why the channels got slightly gap there so when everything sits back down it'll be better but there we go she's tacked in so now comes the part I didn't think I was gonna be doing today, which is take the body back off <laughs> the chassis. I already put that away. See, I already put it away because I didn't think I was gonna to get to this today. So I'll go ahead and grab the dolly back out. We'll go ahead and yank the chassis, a couple bolts out of everything. Go ahead and put the chassis back in the backyard. Get the body back up on the dolly so we can go ahead and Proceed on finish walling that in. It's gonna be a long day. And just like that, we're back on the body dolly. I'm getting ready to go ahead and do some more welding on this. See if we can get it a little bit better. And the neighbor's yard guy finally showed up. I mean, the grass was only like 10 million feet high. Whatever. Let's get back to welding. Well, I pulled the screws out and plug welded those holes. Got dressed the welds a little bit, but it's it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I still have the inside to do. Oh, I turned the light off. You can't see. I've, I've got it tacked in the both corners. Um, just got to run some weld up top. <clears throat> finish running around the sides. Other than that. It's done. I think you've seen me weld and grind enough on this, so I'm not gonna continue to bore you with that. So with that being said, that's how I did the firewall. Are there other ways? Sure. Are there better ways? Maybe. 
this is the way I chose to do it. So, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd appreciate that. Drop a comment down below. I enjoy commenting on every single comment. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Till the next time, be kind to one another and be good.